Good morning, uh, and welcome to the meeting of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, uh, the Chairperson of this committee. Uh, today we are joined by Council Members Constantinidis, uh, Gridencek, Lansman, uh, and Reynoso. Uh, today we will be voting on a number of applications previously heard by the Subcommittee. We will be voting to approve pre-considered LU numbers 412 for the 66 Hudson Yards Streetscape Text Amendment in Manhattan. The proposed action would uh, modify the special Hudson Yards uh, district text relating to ground floor use and planting regulations in large scale plan subdistrict A. Uh, the proposed text amendment would facilitate the development of a new class A office building with approximately 2.2 million square feet, which would serve as the new headquarters for Pfizer as the anchor tenant. Uh, Speaker Johnson is in support of this application. We will also vote to approve LU's 403-401 for the 47-15 34th Avenue rezoning in Queens. Uh, the original uh, rich, Originally proposed actions sought to rezone existing C81, R6B, and R5 zoning districts to a mix of R7X, C24, and R6B, C24 districts, and map the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing MIH option two. The action before us uh, has been modified by the City Planning Commission as part of the public review process. The commission modified the uh, R7X, C24 district of uh, the proposal to an R7D, C24, uh, while maintaining the R6B C24 portion. Uh, together, the action uh, as modified by CPC would facilitate the development of a new 11-story mixed-use building with approximately 187 uh, dwelling units, including uh, approximately uh, 57 permanently affordable units and commercial and community facility uses at the ground floor. Uh, Council Member Van Bramer is in support of this application as modified uh, by CPC, and uh, I will now read uh, Council Member Van Bramer's uh, statement. Uh, the proposed plan at uh, 34th Avenue between 46th and 48th Streets will produce Barry uh, will produce uh, meaningful, affordable housing, most of which will be at 60 percent. AMI. The agreement before us today provides deep affordability than originally proposed. Uh, furthermore, the developer has agreed to concessions to reduce the height of the building to 10 stories from the initial 14. Uh, Queens Community Board 1 sought a building no greater than 10 stories, and we achieved that here. Also, many residents of uh, Woodside Housing, including, tenants uh, including Tenant Association President uh, Annie Cotton Morris, came out in strong support of this project. Their feedback and approval is important to me. There will also be space given to a local nonprofit organization, uh, Urban Upbound, to host a job training center within the building, free of charge. Uh, 32BJ also supports this project, as the building service workers uh, will be union members. Uh, finally, the developer has promised to look for a local arts nonprofit uh, to provide affordable rental space for a cultural uh, slash performance space, as well as an agreement to care for the pocket park across the street. Because of these reasons, I support this project and urge, and urge my colleagues on the zoning subcommittee to approve. Uh, we've also now been joined by uh, council members uh, Richards and Rivera. Uh, we will also uh, vote to approve pre-considered LUs number uh, uh, 413, 414 for the East Harlem follow-up action in Manhattan. The proposed action uh, agreed upon and memorialized in the East Harlem neighborhood rezoning points of agreement would modify the allowable building heights in existing C64, uh, R8A, and R7D district uh, along Park Avenue in the special East Harlem corridors district. Requires subway entrance relocation for any development 
at the intersection of Lexington Ave and East 116th Street uh, and remove the special district designation from an existing uh, R7B district. Council Member Ayala is in support of this application. We will also vote to approve with modifications, uh, pre-considers uh, LU number uh, 411 uh, for the MANA products uh, text amendment in Queens. The proposed action would amend uh, the use uh, regulations related to existing manufacturing, uh, manufacturing buildings. The action would facilitate the enlargement of an existing building in an M32 district to accommodate expanded and streamlined manufacturing operations. Uh, our modification will uh, be to clarify the uh, applicability of the proposed amendment in terms of geographic location. Council Member Van Bramer is in support of this application as modified, and we will also vote to approve the modification uh, of pre-considered LU number uh, 397 for the residential mechanical voids text amendment in Council Districts 1 through 9, 16, 26, and 27. Uh, the text would modify existing bulk regulations for residential buildings in a non-contextual uh, R9 and R10 residential districts and their commercial district equivalents. Uh, DCP's original application proposed a 25-foot uh, height threshold for establishing whether a building's enclosed mechanical space would be counted as zoning floor area. After Community Board and Borough President review, CPC modified the amendment, increasing the threshold to 30 feet. Our modification will restore the originally proposed 25-foot uh, height threshold. Our modification will also limit the applicability of the rule for certain developments in commercial districts. Uh, council members for the districts that are affected by this text amendment are generally in support of the application as modified and with understanding that DCP has agreed to study additional loopholes and pursue certain follow-up actions. Um, I will now read a letter uh, from the Department of City Planning uh, that was sent uh, to this committee. It says, Dear Honorable Members of the City Council, based on conversations with the City Council and Department of City Planning, uh, memorializes its commitment to the following additional steps regarding residential mechanical voids. Uh, DCP will enact a follow-up action to apply limits to mechanical voids to residential buildings in central in the central business districts. These districts include the Lower Manhattan, Midtown, Hudson Yards, Long Island City, and Downtown Brooklyn Special Districts. Uh, the provisions of this follow-up action will apply the principles of the mechanical void text to the local conditions of central business districts. This follow-up action will also uh, be shared with the Council in August 2019 in advance of referral in September 2019. DCP will conduct a study of uh, unenclosed voids in residential buildings, exploring potential abuse of the zoning uh, resolution while considering uh, the many desirable architectural and functional uses of unenclosed space. This study will be completed and its results shared with the Council in the summer of 2020. Uh, DCP will conduct a study related to the establishment of a minimum uh, lot size of residential zoning lots, exploring how small, otherwise unusable zoning lots may yield uh, unintended building forms in certain zoning districts. The results of the study will be shared with the Council uh, in August 2019. Uh, I now uh, will call for a vote to approve pre-considered LUs uh, 412, 413, 414, and LUs 403 and 404, and to approve with the modifications I have described, pre-considered LUs, uh, LU 397, and pre-considered LU uh, 411. Uh, council, please call the roll. Moya? Aye and all. Constantinides? Aye and all. Lanceman? Aye. Reynoso? Aye. Richards? Aye. Aye. Rivera? Aye. Grudenchek? Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items are referred to the Land Use Committee. This concludes today's meeting. I would like to thank the members of the public. Hold the, hold the vote open for Torres. Uh, we'll hold the, the, the vote open for a few more minutes. Uh, but this concludes the meeting. I would like to thank my, uh, my colleagues and uh, the Council Land Use uh, for uh, attending this meeting today. Thank you. Yes. Yes. We're not going anywhere. Yes.